The long-awaited iOS 13 update has finally arrived as of 10 a.m. Pacific time, and in today's video, we're going to show you two different methods that you can use to get the update. What's going on everybody and welcome to the channel. Again, we're gonna go through two different methods that you can use to update your iOS device to iOS 13. Now keep in mind that the iOS update is limited to certain devices and I will go ahead and post some information in the video description indicating on what devices are compatible. As far as iPhone goes, I do know for a fact that you do need an iPhone 6S or higher in order to get the update. Before we get into today's video, just a quick introduction in case you're new here. First off, welcome to the channel. I am Aaron and I'm from Help Cloud. And we are your go-to tech resolution hub. On this channel, we focus videos on how-tos and tutorials, tech news, tech unboxing. So if that's any type of interest to you, consider subscribing. Now, the first thing that we're gonna want to do before we perform any type of update on the device is of course, back up the device to make sure you have something to fall back on. And if you're familiar with iOS devices, you typically have two different ways you can do this, either by A, the iCloud, or by B, you can back it up with the iTunes connected to a computer. So right now, what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to go in and back up now with your iCloud settings. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into settings. You're going to want to click on your name or your I, uh, iCloud. So you are going to want to be signed into your iCloud account. Click on that and then you're going to go ahead and scroll just a little bit and click on iCloud. Now from here, scroll on down to the bottom and you're going to see where it says iCloud backup and it says on. In this case, I'm going to click on that and you'll notice that the toggle switch is set to on so it will periodically do those backups. But right now, because we're going to want to do a force update, we're going to go ahead and click on backup now. It's going to go ahead and give you a backup and then it's also going to give you an estimated time remaining let it go through that and back up the device the other method to back up your device is to go ahead and open up iTunes and you're going to want to connect your iOS or your iPhone device to your computer with a USB cable and then make sure that it is set as a trusted computer once you've got it plugged in open up iTunes and you're going to go ahead and be brought to a summary page once you've selected your device and you're going to have your phone right here and it's going to get say backups right here the main section that we're looking for is right here in the middle where it says backups. It'll say automatically backup to iCloud and then manually backup and restore. So we've already gone through, we've already made a backup to iCloud. We just want to make sure that there's a full backup on this computer just in case something happens. So we are going to select this computer and then you do have the option to encrypt it and set a password if you want. For today's demo, we're not gonna worry about doing that. What we're gonna focus on is clicking on backup now. Once you've clicked on backup now, you'll notice right here at the top, it says backing up, your device name will be entered here, and then you'll have a blue bar across the top that'll move, and once that backup is completed, you can then proceed with downloading and installing the iOS 13 update. You have your device backed up. The first and easiest method to obtain the update is to go on into your settings, head on down to where it says general, and then you're gonna click on where it says software update. It's going to check for the update. Once it has located the update, you will now be able to go down and click download and install. If for any reason the download and install button is grayed out, it is probably because you're connected to your cell network and you are required to be connected to a Wi-Fi network because it is a large download in order to download the update. Once you are connected to a Wi-Fi network, head on down, click download and install. You will need to accept the new terms and conditions and once you accept those, it will start the download and give you an estimated time remaining of the download and then you will just follow the on-screen prompts to get the download finished. The second method that we're gonna cover in today's video to get the iOS 13 update is of course, again, plug in your iOS or your iPhone to your computer with a USB cable make sure that the computer is set as a trusted device and open up the iTunes. You will want to make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes installed. Once you've got it open, you're gonna come up to the left and you're gonna click on your device, which is like the little phone icon right up here. And then it's gonna to default to your summary tab, which is where we're gonna to want to be because we're gonna move on over to the middle of the screen on the top where it says iPhone 6S. It's gonna be the very top summary. It's gonna show you your capacity, your serial number, etc but you'll also may have gotten a update notification when you opened up your iTunes, letting you know that iOS 13 was available. And then you can see right here where it says a newer version of the iPhone software is available, version 13 to update your iPhone with the latest software, click update. So from here, we can go ahead and left click on update and it's gonna say iTunes will update your iPhone to iOS 13.0 and will verify the update with Apple. You can go ahead and left click on update. Once you've done that, it's gonna give you a breakdown of all of the different features. Again, today's video isn't focused on the features, but merely a just a quick method if you're not familiar with how to get the iOS or iPhone updates. 
It'll go through all of the different features and what the changes are. Again, we've been want waiting for this forever now, so we're just gonna go ahead and through skip this and then left click on next. Again, it's gonna bring you to some terms and conditions. You will want to just agree with those. And then you'll notice that the iTunes is downloading a software update for this iPhone and will install it when the download is complete. Now, in any case, if you wanted to check the download progress of the update, you can go up into the top right hand corner of iTunes and left click on the little arrow that points down towards the bottom of the screen. This is gonna give you a summary of the downloaded update where it says right now we're about two gigs out of 3.4. We've got about 70 seconds remaining. Now, of course, the speed in which that you download this update is always going to be based off of your connection that you're on right now, whether it's at home, whatever your ISP is, or if you're out on a public Wi-Fi network. So the approximate time remaining for the download will vary depending on the internet speed that you're connected to. Now, when the download is finished, you're gonna notice that iTunes is gonna go through and make another backup of the phone. But to me, having too many backups is, is just fine. I don't have to worry about that. But you'll see right here where it says enter passcode on your phone. And this guy says enter passcode on the demo iPhone to continue the iOS update. Once the download has finished, this little prompt is gonna come up and you will need to type in your passcode that you have on your phone itself in order to proceed. So let me go ahead and type that in. You can hit continue or as soon as you type in the passcode, it's gonna go through and complete. From this point forward, iTunes is gonna go ahead and prepare the update and install and wait for the iPhone and it's gonna proceed with the installation. And then once it's done, you will have the iOS 13 on your device. And with that being said, that wraps up today's video, bringing us into our question of the day. What method worked best for you? Leave your answers in the comments below. If you like the video and enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. We do a ton of stuff tech related. Here are a few different options for you. Subscribe if you're not already and enable the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content. And we will see you on the next one.